Hey guys, Nathan down here at Zim's Guitars and today we're going to check out this 1958 Fender Tweed Vibrolo. Um, so this is a 2.6 V6, 10 watt, about 10 watts. Uh, it's got one Jensen P10R in there. It's, a, it's got the teal frame with the bell cover on. We'll show you a shot of that. And uh, as far as controls go, it's just volume and tone. And then you have depth and speed for a tremolo effect. And the tremolo on these amps is pretty primitive. It's like one of the first ones that Fender made with tremolo, one of the first amps, uh, the narrow panel tweeds. And honestly, it's not going to be the same as like the later brown face, black face, and silver face tremolo. It's a little bit weaker, but it's definitely like a bit warmer, if that makes sense. Whereas like the black face amps, uh, they use the opto trim where it's kind of just on off, on off, on off, or this one kind of goes through. It's a bit smoother, but it's definitely not as dramatic of effect as later amps are. So we're gonna play the tremolo, and both of the settings, speed and depth, are on eight and a half. <laughs> So as everyone knows, the most popular uh, Tweed Fender amp is going to be the Tweed Deluxe, uh, along with the Basement. But the Deluxe is more about this size. The cabinets are almost the same size. Uh, this is a couple watts less than a Deluxe power rating would be. But since these are um, fixed bias, they actually stay cleaner a bit longer than a Deluxe. You know, the Deluxe, once you get to three or four, it's already breaking up with single coils. This thing you can get it up to like seven or eight before it really starts to break up. And um, here I'm playing on six and a half. My tone is set to ten and a half. Uh, all the controls go to twelve on this thing. So uh, play with the single coil and the neck pickup. <laughs> So we're taking a look at the back of the amp. As you can see in there, it's got a Jensen P10R, and it's dated the 20th week of 1958. It's got the nice blue bell cover on there, silver label. And uh, you're gonna have two preamp tubes, both 12AX7s, two 6V6 power tubes, and a 5 y 3 rectifier. Pretty standard for your, uh, your smaller uh, tweed amps. And then you got three inputs. They all run through the same channel. And they each have a different padding on them. Whereas uh, the, the first input's gonna be the hottest input. Third one is gonna be the quietest. 
pretty standard for a Fender amp. And then just your volume, tone, speed, and depth. And the tone actually acts as a little bit of a gain control in a way because if you have the tone all the way down on one, not only is the amp going to be dark, but it's going to be a little bit quieter. As you turn it up to 12, it's going to let the amp open up and uh, start to break up a little more as well. So the, the controls on these tweed amps are really interactive and, you know, it can change the volume and tone just by a little tiny change on the controls. So as you can see on this thing, it's pretty much all original um, except for the power cable and the filter caps have been replaced, but I did replace them inside the old Astron sleeves. But you got your original tweed, badge, uh, grill cloth, even the handle on there is, is the original one. And it's in good shape. These handles oftentimes fall apart, especially right where the little, the little metal piece that holding the handle down. Uh, it'll start to rip that leather handle up. I try not to use it too much. I just carry it uh, without using the handle. But really cool amp, man. Glad I was able to get my hands on this thing. I was chasing it for a while. And um, it's one of the perfect sized amps for me. You know, it's, it's not too loud. You can get a great sound out of it at low volumes. Um, it breaks up. Like I said, I uh, have quite a bit of headroom on these things. So... To me, this is one of the coolest tweed amps next to like a tweed basement or something. And um, it's a really cool one. So thanks for checking out the video. And uh, of course, always check back in. We're always doing cool videos down here at Zim's Guitars. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.